Hi everyone, hope you are having a great day so far. Today we are going to talk about insulin resistance. What is insulin resistance and how to reverse it and what's the big deal? I am going to answer all of your questions on insulin resistance, so let's get started. What is insulin resistance? So you know I talk about that a lot when I talk about reversing type 2 diabetes. We have to look at the root cause, which is insulin resistance, right? So insulin resistance is the root cause of what causes type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes. And a lot of people think that, oh, like if I lower my blood sugar, that means I've reversed my insulin resistance. And that's actually not the case because when you cut out carbohydrates, yes, of course your blood sugar will go down, but when you cut out carbohydrates, what do you turn to? You usually turn to more animal uh, protein, right? Which is higher in fat and um, especially with diets like low carb or keto, it's heavily reliant on these saturated animals that are high in saturated fat. What will really do um, for you in those low carb diets is that yes, like it'll lower your blood sugar, but it doesn't solve the root pop root, sorry, root problem of insulin resistance. Insulin resistance, you'll learn later, is actually caused by the buildup of fat, okay? So a lot of times when people go on low carb diet to lower their blood sugar, um, it works, right? Because they're not eating carbs, but once they eat carbohydrates, it shoots up their blood sugar really high. And that's why a lot of times, having low blood sugar doesn't equal to reversing your insulin resistance. Now let's learn what is insulin resistance. So insulin resistance is actually a condition caused by the buildup of fat in your cells. So what's happening is that when there's a buildup of fat in your cells, it actually turns off the insulin receptors and make it unresponsive to insulin. Okay, so insulin are like little workers. They actually help you bring your blood sugar from the blood into the cells for energy, right? Because that's what blood sugar is for. It's to give your body energy, right? Your body is supposed to thrive on carbohydrates. But what's happening right now is that there's a buildup of fat in your cells and that actually makes the insulin receptors unresponsive, they're like sleepy. And so the insulin is not able to bring the blood sugar from the blood into the cells. And so that's how the blood sugar starts accumulating in the blood. And that's what causes high blood sugar and that's what causes pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes. It's like a lock and key analogy. So let's say there's a key and there's a lock, right? So normally it work perfectly because they're made for each other. They're made at the same time, they're, they're made for each other, right? So normally it work perfectly. But let's say if I put some chewing gum in the lock, does it work perfectly anymore? Maybe not, right? Probably not because there's, you know, literally chewing gum in the lock, right? What we need to do in this case isn't to throw away the key, right? It isn't to throw the throw away the lock, but it is to take and clean out the gum, right? So that the key and lock can work perfectly again. And that is how reversing insulin works. This is literally science and scientists and doctors know this. They know that insulin resistance is caused by a buildup of fat in the cells. That's why doctors tell you, oh yeah, just lose weight when you, know, you are diagnosed with type two diabetes. They know that insulin resistance is caused by the buildup of fat. What they don't usually tell you is that cutting carbs actually won't um, help in this case. A lot of them think that carbs make you fat and so they always take you, tell you to cut carbs, but that's actually not true. We'll save that video for another time. What doctors and scientists know is that, you know, the fat causes insulin resistance, right? So even scientists, when they're trying to do experiments on rats, they actually feed these lab rats a high fat diet. So what a high fat diet does to them is they make the rats insulin resistant so that they can test, um, you know, diabetic drugs on them or even, you know, test about insulin resistance and in different kinds of experiments. So it's a well-known scientific fact, right? This is not something that I made up. It's, this is well-known, but not a lot of people talk about it, right? This is where a whole foods plant-based diet comes in. When you eat a whole foods plant-based diet, it's actually perfect for this because most plant foods are really high in fiber, water, and low in fat. All of them, this combination actually helps you lower the fat content in your cells and help you reverse insulin resistance. And this is very effective and it's different from the method that doctors tell you to just, yeah, like just calorie restrict workout because with calorie restriction, 
it is not sustainable. Sometimes it'll leave you starving and think about food all the time and that is not sustainable. On the other hand, why just losing weight doesn't work is because even skinny people, even normal weight people, they might still be insulin resistant. I have a lot of people that come to me, even their normal weight, they're still type two diabetic because with insulin resistance, it's not just in your fat cells, it's also in your muscle cells, in your liver cells. So even if you're lean, there can still be a buildup of fat in your muscle cells and in your fat cells. That is the reason why um, just losing weight doesn't really solve the root of the problem, but a whole foods plant-based diet does. So if you're able to solve the root of the problem, which is insulin resistance with a whole foods plant-based diet, you're actually able to help your body increase its ability to process carbohydrates, which is amazing because a lot of people that I work with, they're actually eating more carbohydrates than before, but their blood sugar is lowering and they're able to get off their medications. They're even able to get off insulin because their body is reversing their insulin resistance so they don't need that extra insulin to be injected. Their natural insulin produced by their body is sufficient. So those are really exciting news and just to show that it actually works you know, the reversing insulin resistance actually works and increase your body's ability to process carbohydrates. And that means you can have more carbs. Isn't that great news, right? If you want to watch their interviews, you can go to my channel. I have a lot of their interviews there. And if you liked this video, make sure you push or press, <laughs> make sure you press thumbs up. Um, if you do, YouTube will send this video to another person that needs to hear this. So yes, literally, if you press the like button, you are saving someone else's life. If you are interested in joining my reversing diabetes coaching program to work with me and my team one-on-one, -on -one, then make sure you book a free call with us to apply. Anyways, um, let me know what other topics or things you guys would like to see and uh, make sure you comment in the comments below. But I am so excited to help you guys on this journey of reversing insulin resistance, reversing type 2 diabetes, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.